Tenma is a young orphan teenager who was raised in an orphanage in a small village. Despite being only 15 years old, Tenma isn't aware that his soul reincarnates every 200 years to battle against the gods. His soul always promised to be beside the goddess Athena and protect her from the evil god Hades, who aims to destroy the world. Therefore, Athena recognized him as the Pegasus Bronze Saint, the only saint with enough strength to defeat and extinguish any god in the universe. Tenma is a teenage boy who grew up in a happy orphanage in a small town with his best friend alone. But one day, Tenma suddenly feels that his best friend is in danger and decides to look for him. He finally finds a lone collapsed in the mountain path and takes him back to the orphanage, where he treats his wounds. In the same night, a heavy storm breaks out, resulting in some boulders blocking the river's path, making it overflow into the town. Both of the friends face a critical moment where they both want to save the orphanage from being flooded, but at the same time, alone thinks they cannot deal with this task. But Tenma doesn't give up and rushes to destroy the huge rocks blocking the river passage. He tries his best to destroy it with his punches but only makes small cracks. In his final try, Tenma concentrates the power of Cosmos in his fist while hearing the prayers of everyone at the orphanage, and hits the rocks with a massive punch, destroying it. A golden saint who sensed his Cosmos power witnesses everything and picks Tenma up before he collapses. In the following day, the golden saint named Doko explains that he saw how Tenma saved the town, and recommends him to join the sanctuary and become a saint. Tenma has always been dreaming about this moment, the moment where he could become a saint and protect everyone, and so, decides to accept the offer and says his farewell to alone, while promising they will always be best friends. Upon reaching the Greek sanctuary, Tenma gets an explanation that every 200 years there's a holy war between Hades, the god of the underworld, and the goddess Athena. In order to protect peace in the world, Athena created 88 saints, each of them protected by one of the respective 88 constellations. This sanctuary is also the place where people train to become saints, but only a few of them have the power and heart to be chosen. Tenma gets quickly challenged by another trainee after hearing that he will become the next saint. He accepts the challenge, but quickly regrets it after getting beaten. He meets the golden saint Doko who quickly explains to him how to use his cosmos powers to get stronger. After Doko's departure, Tenma notices someone passing by and mistakes that person for a loan. He quickly reaches out and grabs her arm, finding out that person is Sasha, one of his childhood friends. He tries to remind her about how she was his and alone's best friend, but they get attacked by an assassin hiding underground. Tenma tries to defend her, but he's no match for the assassin, who quickly pins him to the ground and starts beating him. The assassin quickly turns his attention to Sasha, who uses her Cosmo power and reveals to be the goddess Athena. The assassin tries to attack her, but he's quickly defeated by the Ares Saint, who arrives in time to save and escort her home. Tenma trains for the next two years and gets his final test to become a saint. He faces a guy twice his size, but doesn't back down. He quickly punches the guy against a pillar and then shows mercy by destroying a boulder that was falling on top of his opponent. The Pope witnesses his strength and kindness, and decides to grant him the status and armor of the Pegasus Saint. Later that night, Tenma sneaks up into Athena's balcony, and they talk about their childhood memories. But Athena suddenly looks up to the sky and says that Hades has awakened, marking the beginning of the Holy War. Tenma is then sent on a mission to investigate Hades' location along with some other saints. But along the path, he quickly realizes they were sent to his hometown. Tenma starts to rush back into his hometown but only sees fire and destruction among the town. He starts to worry about Alone's safety and quickly rushes back to the orphanage. He enters Alone's room but only sees everything covered in blood. He goes outside and starts looking for Hades, while promising his comrades that he will defeat the evil god. He notices his comrades' screams while getting hit by lightning and sees Hades floating in the sky. Hades starts to approach him and welcomes him back home. Tenma is shocked. He cannot believe that Alone is the real Hades. Alone was always a kind person, but Pandora approached him on the same day that Tenma found him unconscious on the mountain path, turning a pure kind and docile kid into the evil god of the underworld. Hades then shows Tenma's painting that Alone couldn't finish before Tenma left the town to become a saint. He quickly uses blood to draw an X on the painting and its powers kill Tenma on spot. Hades' first job is finally done. He destroyed his hometown and killed Tenma, taking Alone's human nature away. With this one move, he no longer has anything tying him to his humanity, and his blonde hair turns into a dark, evil color, making all of his specters kneel in front of him before they leave. Yato is the only saint who manages to stay alive, 
and decides to take Tenma's corpse to Athena. Suddenly, a girl named Yuzuria appears, telling that she was ordered by her master to take Tenma away and revive him. She quickly teleports everyone to her master's location and he checks Tenma's body condition. Athena's flower bracelet is the only thing keeping him alive, but he will soon die if the flowers dry up. Tenma awakens in the underworld and notices that he is chained inside a jail. A specter suddenly appears and starts mocking him while telling that one of the underworld's leaders is marching against the sanctuary to kill Athena. Suddenly, Yato and Yuzuria who teleported to the underworld appear, but tries to stop them from saving Tenma. The specter uses his shockwave attacks to defeat them and prepares to use his finishing move. Tenma suddenly unleashes his full power and manages to destroy the chains binding him. He quickly attacks and uses his Pegasus Saint skill to defeat the Spectre with only one punch. Yato quickly explains how Tenma can be revived, and Tenma wishes to rush back to protect Athena. But Yuzuria explains they must find something first, before heading back to the real world. She further explains they need to get the fruits from the legendary Sapodis tree that grows in the underworld. They start moving to the tree's location, but soon get stopped by Cerberus, the Hell's Watch dog. Yato and Yuzura try to face the Gatekeeper, but they cannot match against the Mythic Beast. The group decides to distract and then lead the Cerberus against Tenma, who is charging up his Cosmos power to use his Saint skill, Pegasus Meteor Fist, finishing the Mythic Beast with one punch. They start moving again and meet Hades along the way. Yuzuriha tries to attack but is blown away with a flicker of his hand. Hades then congratulates Tenma for surviving his previous attack in the real world, and invites him to join his side instead of fighting for Athena. He quickly rejects the invitation, promising he will defeat him and stay by Athena's side. After hearing Tenma's answer, Hades floats with his Cerberus and vanishes away. The trio continue their mission and finally locate the tree on top of a blood fall. They quickly start to climb the blood fall but the time suddenly stops. Tenma is the only one who can move, and finds that the golden saint Virgo Asmita has betrayed Athena, joining Hades' side. Virgo reveals that he doubts Athena's ability to keep peace in the world. He starts mocking Tenma for being just an angry, violent and rash kid, unfit to stay by Athena's side. Tenma tries to punch him with his skill, but gets knocked back by Virgo's power. Virgo then explains how Pegasus Saint and Athena fates are intertwined. They always reincarnate in the human world together, because the Pegasus Saint is the only human who can defeat Hades. But this time, Tenma's emotional personality will never be able to save the world. Virgo then stands up from his meditation position and casts a skill that shuts Tenma's five senses down. He starts showing visions of people suffering and Athena being killed by him, while mentioning that he can only rely on his sixth sense, the mind and thoughts. Tenma gets enraged and unlocks his full power, breaking free from the illusion and starts rushing to punch Virgo. He hits his punch, but then realizes he only hit the Sapodis tree, destroying it in the process. Virgo is floating above and reveals everything was an illusion. They needed to make Tenma use his Cosmo power to make the tree bear the fruit. Virgo quickly disappears while telling him to take the fruit away and finish their mission. The group takes the fruits and carry Tenma on their way to escape the underworld, but they get stopped by another specter. Yato stays back to fight the specter while Yuzuriha returns to the real world with Tenma's soul. Virgo appears once again and explains he needs to make a holy weapon with the Sapindus tree's fruits. The weapon will seal the specter's soul and stop them from coming back to life, restraining Hades' army. But in order to do so, they need Virgo's eight senses power to forge it. The Spectre's army followed them to the real world and start their attack, forcing Tenma and the rest to stall time for Virgo to forge the holy weapon. Suddenly, Tenma starts to feel a huge Cosmo power on top of the building and sees Virgo there crafting the holy beads. He tries to climb the building to protect Virgo from being attacked by the Spectres, but the Spectres quickly lose their lives. Upon reaching the top, Tenma realizes Virgo used all his Cosmos power and sacrificed life to create the weapon that can change the course of the war. Meanwhile, Hades has started his attack on the sanctuary killing several saints in the process. Athena is preparing herself to face him, but Tenma arrives in a bright flash of light. He first questions Hades if he doesn't remember about their promise as kids to stay together. But Hades quickly answers he doesn't care about such childish promise because he's not alone. He's the god of the underworld. Suddenly, a puppy that alone saved two years ago appears, and Hades holds it quickly transforming it into Cerberus. The mythic beast starts to attack them, but Tenma quickly dodges it while taking Athena with him. He then rushes to punch Cerberus with the beads mixed with his Cosmo power, taking it down with a hit. 
Hades then quickly restrains him with his power and tries to pierce Tenma with his sword. But the Pope appears holding Athena's talismans from the last war 200 years ago, sealing Hades' powers. Athena then teleports everyone to a location that can seal every specter soul. They plan to seal Hades' soul in the underworld, making it unable for him to return to the real world and lose the war. Pandora suddenly arrives on a cart and starts to slander Athena, claiming that she decided to be reborn as Hades' younger sister and watch over his incarnation. She tries to hit Athena, but Tenma saves her by jumping in front of her. Hades then reveals his intentions to go back to his castle, while also mentioning that he's about to complete the lost canvas, a painting on the sky of the planet with everyone's soul on it. Once he completes it, everyone will perish, and he will win the war. Tenma tries to stop Hades from leaving, but Pandora electrocutes him with her staff, making him fall from the cart. For the next few days, Tenma helps to reconstruct the sanctuary while at the same time training against Aldebaran, the strongest saint. Tenma's punches get complimented by the saint, but suddenly, some bats start to surround them and start to make their ultrasonic sounds, making Tenma and everyone around collapse after losing consciousness. An assassin appears and tries to take Tenma's life, but Aldebaran, who ruptured his eardrums to resist the bats, stops him. They engage into a fight, but Aldebaran can still barely keep his balance and mobility. He takes the assassin down, but another assassin quickly appears and turns the fight into a two versus one. The two assassins take advantage of this and brutally beat Aldebaran. As they are pummeling him, he manages to capture one of them, and with a single strike, he kills the assassin by slamming him to the ground with his strength. Impressed, the other assassin employs his most lethal technique, Messenger of Death. The technique allows the assassin to eliminate his target even though he can't hear the song. Once deployed, Aldebaran's heart stops. The assassin then heads to finish Tenma, but even in death, Aldebaran's body moved on its own, and, with one last move, he utterly eliminates the assassin despite the fact that his heart had stopped beating. He then stops moving while still standing like the valiant warrior he was, saving Tenma's life. Tenma wakes up and finds another guy standing near the dead saint. The guy reveals that he was targeted by Pandora, who's ordering the specters without Hades' consent to assassinate him, and Athena. After Aldebaran's death, Tenma decides to leave the sanctuary and relocate to a nearby village. The trainees are grieving at the grave of the Saint Aldebaran with great sadness. Tenma arrives there feeling worthless and powerless to defend the sanctuary. He is plagued with guilt. The Cancer Saint then shows up. He monologues about how Aldebaran died because he was weak, and that Tenma is running away because he is also weak. He then captures Tenma for dissertation. Tenma doesn't even fight back. He believes what the Cancer Saint said is true. In jail, Tenma thinks about alone and how there might still be a chance to save his soul. He then starts punching and kicking the bars trying to escape. However, his effort is pointless. Then Yato appears in the cell by lifting one of the tiles. Yato gets him out of jail by going through an underground passage. At the end of the passage, they meet Yuzuhira, who has now become a silver saint. They successfully escape the sanctuary, and Tenma declares he wants to put Hades to an end. Suddenly, Athena appears in the outskirts of the sanctuary to meet him and she makes him promise he will safely come back from his journey, with alone by his side. Watch this next video, see you on the next one.